what's doing guys, back with a fresh vinyl review. Today we're going to be looking at the X Plus Yuji Sakai Modeling Collection Godzilla 2002 from Godzilla X Mecha Godzilla. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Yuji Sakai, bam, got him right here, freaking awesome figure. Um, I'm going to get some things out of the way first, so let's look at the box for about five seconds. There's your box, okay? Pretty cool box cover. Basic box cover, really nothing special about the box. We all know it's got the plastic housing and that crap in there, blah, 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 blah. Okay? I went standard, okay? We're gonna bring up, we're gonna bring up, uh, we got the 91 up here because we're gonna talk about this together. Sort of, in a bit. But, so I went standard and did not want to go with Rick. I just feel like, like I say, pun intended, I'm just burnt out with the Rick light up dorsal plates. I actually like the painted dorsal plates better because it just kind of completes the whole look of the figure. Because if this was the Rick, the dorsal plates along the center spine here, they're going to look different from everything else probably down here. Because... They have to be able to emit light going through it so you can have your light up effect. Yeah. Okay. So I'm kind of just bored with the light up dorsal plates with the exception of a few. I think this guy lights up. Does he? Yeah, he does. But I'm not even going to bother turning them on because it's just white, boring LED lights. Sorry. That's just my opinion. Sue me. So sue me. So I went standard, got mine from Hobby Search. Um, I think Hobby Search was about 220 plus shipping, give or take. So at the end of the day, you're probably paying around like... Uh, like 260 give or take $260 you know to get it to your door for the standard okay so like we said this is the Yuji Sakai um, I'm gonna be honest I'm kind of bored with the Yuji Sakai line there was only a couple figures that I knew I would get if they were announced this being one of them and the other that was recently announced was the Yuji Sakai Burning Godzilla Yes, because I need another Burning Godzilla, because I don't already have a gigantic, a 30, and a 25 that's kind of boring anyways, but the 25 centimeter, it just doesn't look right. It just looks like a bad Bandai creation. The 30 centimeter behind me definitely stepped up its game. Actually, no, up there, 30 centimeter, boring 25 over here. Meh. Anyway, so, this guy, this guy, this guy, wow, um, I'm going to tell you, like, the hype level for this figure is courtesy of my buddy David Dopko. You know, he has been hyping up getting this specific figure slash kit because, mind you, the Yuji Sakai figures are originally model kits, resin form, crisper detail. David has wanted one since I remember going back to Japan. Um, I knew he wanted one before that, but I just, he was like, oh, maybe I'll find one, maybe I'll find one, the resin model kit. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. So, next best thing is to get it in uh, X Plus form. Now, yes, I know, I know model, model builders out there, it does stink seeing, you know, your, you know, these limited resin kits get reissued in pre-painted vinyl form. I get it. It's no different than having older 25 centimeter figures, you know, from their X Plus, you know, Japanese release and then seeing them reissued in diamond form. I get it, you know, and is it something to be sour about? No, it's just, you know, everybody gets to play. Um, and there's no shame in saying, hey, yeah, I just pulled the figure out of the box and plopped it, plopped the tail on, put it on the shelf, bada bing, bada boom. Because let's be honest, we're not all skilled uh, kit builders. And honestly, to you kit builders, would you really want everybody to be able to be as awesome as you guys? Because really, you guys that build kits... I, I tip my hat to you because you guys do some amazing work. So it's awesome that you guys that are kit builders have your own little niche out there that could produce, you know, amazing pieces of art and put on your shelf and say, hey, I built and painted that. And I'm going to be honest with you. I've seen a couple kits. Uh, Daniel Moreno, I've seen your built up kit. Uh, if you painted it and built it yourself, awesome job. If you didn't, to the person that did for you, uh, great job because I think the paint job on yours, Daniel Moreno, looks better than this. And I did, uh, had spoke with David Dopko about his and he did say, you know, it's kind of this, and actually the paint job, you know, he said he's going to, David's going to do some dry brushing, uh, to this figure to give it a little bit more depth. So with the paint job on this, I will admit it kind of just feels like a flat charcoal gray paint job. Is there anything wrong with that? No, it's just I've seen the kits that were, have been built up look really amazing. But that's what you can do with building a kit. So nothing that takes away from this. 
because this is an amazing X plus figure in vinyl form in the UG Sakai line. And while I keep doing this, it feels like these, these dorsal plates are very sharp back here. So don't be a dodo like me and stab yourself um, because these are pretty sharp. I will say this is, I don't know where I feel. I feel like these two tie each other for the best Yuji Sakai X+. Plus. If you agree with me, give me a five. A high five. Yeah. Five high five. Well, anyway, um, I'm too excited for my own good. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, this is amazing. This is definitely, these are my top two Yuji Sakai figures. Um, I don't know which one I'm digging more. I will admit while I'm looking at them both from the back, the, U, the 2002 definitely has a deeper texture to it, to the, you know, to the vinyl and everything. I think X Plus is getting very good at, you know, their casting, their molding process, because the details are getting crisper. Even on the 25 centimeter Godzilla 65 that came out last year, that has a really crisp um, detail to the texture of the skin and everything. The whole sculpt so beautiful. This figure, definitely amazing. The... Level of detail, like we say in every X Plus video, X Plus review, be it, on the, be it my review, somebody else's reviews, or just talking on the X Plus group, does not disappoint. The detail here is beautiful. And it, again, I'm, I'm emphasizing it's crisp here because this is coming from a resin kit. So one thing I'm definitely going to point out that looks really, really damn good is the teeth. Now, for those of you that collect the UG Sakai line, if you remember back to... The uh, the first Sakai figure in the eighty in the vinyl form for X Plus, it was the eighty nine, and the teeth were just a muddled mess. X Plus prime example of how they've improved bringing the Yuji Sakai resin figures to vinyl form beautifully because it these teeth are gorgeous, definitely well done, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I can't believe how fine those are for a, a vinyl figure coming from a resin. Um, and wow, I'm telling you, these dorsal plates are pretty sharp, so be careful. Don't drop it because you're either gonna, you know, you're gonna ruin the figure itself or whatever, blah, 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 blah. So, paint job, black charcoal, dark gray, uh, toenails, fingernails, teeth, pretty much a, a yellowish bone white that we, you know, normally, you know, we've come to expect for X+. Plus. I really love, again, I'm talking about the detail so much because this figure is beautiful as I'm stabbing my hand back here. I'm going to hold it from the other side. Um, I really do love the spikes and everything coming off his shoulders, down his neck and everything. It almost looks like those, those gills, but that's very nicely done. And even on the legs, there's some spiky, you know, spikes coming out there. It's a very a vicious looking Godzilla. Um, the pose on this figure is just to die for. Seriously, like he looks so pissed off. He's standing upright, basically head cocked back like that. You know, narrowing his eyes at, uh, you know, Mechagodzilla, Kiryu, I hate pronouncing, I hate that word, I hate that name, stupid, Kiryu Goji, <laughs> okay, um, but a great pose, the tail, I love the way the tail's whipped up, and uh, which helps make it not so much of a shelf hog, like many of the other Yuji Sakai figures, it comes with the uh, vinyl tail nub stand, I like this a whole lot better because it's not this gigantic, um, thing here, this stump, so now we got a little nub, okay, so definitely gets the job done, because if you don't use it, he's going to kick back on his tail and look stupid, so just put it under the tail, it doesn't, this is the way to go, X+, Plus. bring us more of these tail stands, it looks really, really good, and uh, voila, so the, again, let's go back to the eyes, the eyes, he's got these narrow eyebrows, um, you know, really just looking pissed off and everything, so that looks great. I've seen some pictures in the X Plus group. If you're watching this review, you've probably already seen the pictures of the derp eyes. Mine, let me actually look at mine. Mine appear to be, I'm going to say they're a little derpy, but it's okay because it is what it is. But I've seen some worse. You got one eye going that direction. You got one eye going that direction. Multitasking. Maybe Godzilla's mastered that skill like many of us haven't. Uh, anyway, so great looking figure. Standard, what well, I went, um, these two next together, next to each other, really, really look great together, um, and making me realize I need to dust this one, he needs a bath, um, yeah, just wow, certified fresh in my book, um, I even have over here the 92, just for another comparison, so we got the uh, all UG Sakai line, so as far as the line itself goes, yes, it's billed as the 30 centimeter line, 
but these guys check in around like 28 centimeters, basically like 10 and a half, um, 11 inches. If you, if you are going to measure that way, but they fall short of the exact 30 centimeter class, but it's a 30 centimeter line, which is fine because if he was 25 centimeter, they'd be even smaller and that would stink. You know, there's just no need for that. But mind you, again, I've said it before. You guys should know this, you know, coming from a resin, going to vinyl, you're, there's going to be that shrinkage. It's no different than any molding process. Like the original 25, I remember seeing pictures of the prototype of the 25 centimeter Gabara. It looked like a 30 centimeter figure. So I'm like, whoa. So I remember asking, I was like, is this going to be 30 centimeter? No, no, no. Uh, Daikaiju series. So that's going to happen. It's expected. If you're new to X plus collecting, don't worry. Yeah, you figure it's not shrinking on you or anything like that. Um, so nothing new there. I will admit, let's see, I got to, I got to, I think I got to tweak my tail here because this is a little loose there. So the way to do that, if you have a problem with your tail, um, like I've, we've said over the years, people get your hair dryer, heat up Godzilla's butthole, the buttocks, heat that up and leave the flange on the tail alone. You don't want to heat that up because it's, it will curl basically doing like a U on you and you're not going to get a, a good, t- good tight snug there. So that might be what's happening here. So all I really got to do if it's going to bug me that much, I'm going to heat it up, take this off, this this piece of the tail because it's in two sections, make sure it's not warped and I will just, wait, is that where the tail goes on? I don't even remember now. Oh yeah, that's the, it's only one, t- that's only one piece. I thought it was, I'm having a brain fart here. Stupid, stupid Mr. Fresh Vinyl, stupid. Yeah, so I'll just have to fix that. Same, same thing applies, just take it off, make sure the flange is not curled or whatever and you bada bing bada boom. Um, and that's it. I'm not going to ramble too much and waste your time because there's other things to do and other figures to buy. So 10 out of 10 for me, definitely 10 out of 10, maybe contender for figure of the year. There's already talk about this being a contender. Definitely is. We'll see what X plus has to toss out. Like we said, we got another Yuji Sakai, uh, coming of the burning Godzilla. There's more gigantics coming. Um, just so much vinyl, not enough money. Ah. All right, I'll see you on my next Fresh Final review. Thank you for watching, guys. And remember, bye, vinyl, Fresh Final. Bam.